morning everybody and welcome to the Average Artist's channel again. Thank you for stopping by. I don't know what to say. I'm doing this project today. You've already read it in the title, but I'm gonna be filling this small sketchbook in a day. It has 12 pages. I think I was just gonna sit down and do some watercolor studies all day long and then see what happens. And I was thinking what I'm gonna do here, if anybody likes these pages, I'm gonna be giving them out to my patrons. But yeah, if you want one, then go check out my patron and hopefully I'll make something good because I don't even know if I'm gonna make anything good. I might be just talking absolute garbage now and you're like, I don't want that, what's she on about? That's awful. Unsubscribe. Please don't unsubscribe, please stay. Okay, we have everything that we need to get started. I have my sketchbook here that I'm currently using because I have some sketches in it that I want to try out. I have my Winsor & Newton paint colour set. It's very dirty. I need to clean it. Two paint brushes, one large size, one small size. I don't really know about paint brushes. I need better ones. I've got my micron pens and my and my brush markers, and then of course we've got the sketchbook, which is 12 pages long. It is the Langton Not Cold Pressed Grain Thin. I don't know what that means. Let's try it out.
little update for you my camera keeps dying and running out of space I've continued doing the work whilst charging my camera and uploading footage and stuff to my computer but we're nearly there I've nearly finished the task but it's just it's so tiring I didn't think that I would find it this difficult but I have been and we're running out of sunlight so I'm a bit worried about that but I'll show you where I'm at right now So I was in the middle of Dina's Draw This In Your Style challenge and I was really enjoying this one actually. Um, the thing is because I've got to work on lots of stuff but it's watercolours, I have to wait for the watercolours to dry so I'm kind of flicking between pages and waiting for it to dry as I go so that's probably why you're seeing a lot of me like skipping around and doing Casey's Draw This In Style challenge, obviously very early stages there. This has been a really fun exercise, I think some of them are turning out better than others but I've just got three pages to go really and then small little details to add but it's just we're running out of light and I'm worried because I mean the sun won't set for another hour or so but yeah I need to get on with it. God, you guys I think we are done and with a little time to spare with the light but it's getting dark it's about half eight now so I've been drawing for eight and a half hours <laughs> or painting I finished and I can't believe it it took so long and my camera is even dying now so stick around to see the sketchbook tour now good morning everybody it is now the next day and let me tell you I am 
really tired. It's so pathetic, but I'm feeling so drained by this. And I think I've even caught a cold. Oh my God, guys, the stress of filling only 12 pages. I'm honestly quite apologetic that it's 12 pages because I felt, I feel like that's not many, but then as I was doing it, I was like, this is a lot. And it was hard. I kept hitting a wall thinking I'm not gonna be able to do it and I'm just gonna not have a video um, to put up. But I thought like, just keep going and try and enjoy the process. And I'll obviously discuss like when I hit walls throughout this sketchbook tour, mini sketchbook tour, I guess. And so let's just uh, dive into it, shall we? So the first page was the second page because this was the first page. I worked on this one first. So I worked on this page first and then I realized that I had missed this page. I spent ages on this one, trying to figure out how to layer with watercolour and, and go over and do different leaves and stuff and then do different points of depth. And I really like the some of the gradient work in this piece, but overall I'm not really like 100% into it. I think it could have been better, but you know, um, this was all a learning process. So in doing that, I feel like I've learned something. This one also I was a bit meh about. I didn't know what to do with it. I wanted to do something similar to the last one and do layering and stuff like that. But then I just got a bit carried away. The next one I worked on was this one, which I absolutely hated most of the time. I kind of like it now. I like the way that it works. I played with Posca pens and using water with the Posca pens. I know that's not really the point, but I think they have such a nice pigment to them, some of them, that it was nice to work with it and water. I like the way that um, it turned out, really. I, I'm not like super proud of it, but I think it's a nice illustration. What I started to do, which you will see in the footage, is that I sketched out a lot of pages as the camera was charging and stuff because I needed to get on with it. So I sketched out some images. This one came out a little bit murky and I think that's because I might have had dirty water at the time. When you're using watercolours, it's really good to have two maybe big jars of water, one for cleaning your brush and one for just pure water that you're going to use to paint with. And I think I just didn't have clean water at this point. So it looks, all the paints come out a little bit murky on this one, but I still kind of like it. It has a bit of a weird edge to it. This was my favorite one that I did. I don't know why, I just really like it. I like pose, I like everything. I like the white hair against the dark blues. And I use sort of brown paint instead of black. And I just like the way she looks and her hands and stuff. And yeah, that's my favorite one. Then I tried to do it again and just failed. So here's another person in a period costume and it just didn't, it just didn't hit the mark for me, but it's all a learn, a fly just flew in my hand. Did you see that? It's all lessons learnt in failing here. And this one I absolutely hate, but Chris, my boyfriend says he really likes it. And I like the colors and I like kind of the mystique about it. And I like the way the water has washed some of these colors. By the way, this paper, this was really, really nice paper for watercolors and I definitely want to use it again. I tried to do another leaf in a period costume and I think this one's from a film or something that I took the reference image from and she's got her hands in her skirt and she's sitting down. But I don't know if that's very clear within this image. I didn't like this image and then I went over it with a ink um, brush pen. Then I really liked the way that it turned out. Next, I did a Draw This In The Style challenge. Um, this is Casey Golden's Cactus Girl. And I really like doing this because I think at this point I was really thinking, nope, I can't do this. There's no way I can get on with this. But then I started doing the Draw This In Your Style challenge and it just gave me life. I was like, okay, this is quite fun. I can get into this. And I really enjoyed doing that. And I liked the way that she turned out. As I was drawing her, I was like, this is awful. I'm gonna absolutely botch this. It's not gonna turn out right. But I really liked it and so I did Dina's as well, Dina Norland's and yeah I really like the way it turned out too. I think the characters are so cute. It was a pleasure to draw both of these, draw this in your style because it's always nice to take somebody else's characters and try and draw them. I think it was just a fun challenge. I didn't, I haven't really done any of this draw this in your style stuff so it was really strange like realizing that I actually really enjoyed it because I was like wait why have I not done this already because this was really fun. Then I did a study of somebody's conservatory, I guess, where they have tables and lots of plants and then, but then in the background was just darkness and I really liked the way that contrasted with the colour of the leaves and I really wanted to make it look a little bit flatter than it was because I like that style and I think, 
think it really worked. I added shading and stuff. Yeah, that was just a little one that I really liked doing as well. That took some time. Obviously, I had to hit the wall about halfway through this project, but then I was really, really tired, and the last page is just a bit of a cop-out, but it's some hand studies that I quite like the way that they turned out. I guess it's not really a proper full illustration like these ones are. Sorry about my voice, I think I've just lost it. I'm pretty tired, so that's what happened, and yeah, that's the last page, and I think this project was really fun, but really grueling. At points, I felt very tired, but pushing through it felt really great, and I think I came out with some really nice pieces. I definitely underestimated the amount of work, and I hope you guys won't scoff at this being a full sketchbook with only 12 pages, but I guess they are sort of 12 or 11 and a half full illustrated pages as that and I think I learned so much it was just fun to just sit and experiment with colour and shape and do different images and just let my mind melt into doing artwork and just having fun with it and I think I came out with some really nice pieces that I liked. Would definitely suggest doing this challenge to people if you're in a bit of an art block just go ahead and just fill out pages and have fun with it. Be like a kid in art class again and just drawing whatever the heck comes into your brain and inspiration will come I think it was just it was really fun and I was definitely on a high after finishing this obviously like I said all my $12 tier patrons can choose one of these images that they like and I will send it to them so if you want one of these pieces it's going to be a first come first serve kind of basis that's it guys thanks for watching please like and subscribe for more and I will see you next time Bye. I'd just like to give a shout out to all my $12 tier patrons. They are Lee and Steph, Megan, James, Tom, Cecile and Tim. If you want a shout out at the end of my video, then go check out my patron and look at all the different rewards that you could possibly receive.